Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom domain to, to our application. So we left off at this point in, on the last video. Um, you know, we got this output and all of that. Uh, you know, it's working, so you can just put something here. We'll put it like this, uh, and then it gives it to you in Spanish. All right, so now we're just going to add a custom domain. I have some domains on Namecheap um, that I can use uh, just for this example. So if you have a domain, just grab your domain, just be ready and, and we can start with this. So let's go to the to the Vercel dashboard, go to settings, you know, and also open uh, whatever uh, provider you have. So in my case, I have Namecheap, so I'm just going to open it in a different window. Um, yeah, so this is where you want to add the domain. So I'll go to the Namecheap. Let me see which domains I have here. All right, so my domain is on Namecheap. Uh, it's higherentrydevs.com. So this was for a different project, but I'm just going to use it as an example here. So I had it on DigitalOcean, so I'm, I'm just going to change this to Vercel. So what you want to do is just get the, the domain name, right? So in this case is this. Go back to, to the dashboard and we'll just paste it like this. Say add. It's not a fully qualified domain name. Uh, the space there. So there was like, it's, uh, you know, just make sure that the, you don't have any spaces after the, the name or anything like that. So here it's going to ask you like, you know, you want to add this and then redirect it to this one. Uh, that's what we want because usually our domains, uh, they look like this, like Vercel.com, you know, without the www, uh, we know, but like it just redirects it there. Or you want to add the domain name like this and then go to the www, uh, that and then the name of the domain. So usually we want the first option because this looks better. So then we'll just say add. And if you make a mistake and just put it here, you can change it later. So don't worry about that. So let's just go where it says recommended. Let's say add. All right. So now we have our domain. It's saying that it has like an invalid configuration. So we need to, we need the name servers. So, so right now it detects that we have the digital ocean ones. So we don't want those. We want the, the Vercel ones. So I'm just going to copy this and let's open the, my case name cheap once again oh, where is uh here so we'll just go to that one and let's just uh use like custom dns so let me just maybe let's just delete this uh how do you delete this like that no let, let me just change it back to name cheap and then change it back to custom dns and mm, wanna delete this one all right let's let's just uh Let's just click this for now. Uh, it's going to take uh, some time. It's going to say that. No, it didn't say. All right, custom DNS. So let's go here. And now we'll paste. We don't want both. This one, one, and then this one. All right. So NS1 goes here, NS2 goes there. It's custom domains, the Vercel ones. Just click on save. And now you should get like a message saying that it would take 48 hours. It usually t takes less than that. It's pretty quick. So. So right now it's refreshing, refreshing, and it's uh, seeing if it can detect uh, the change that we just made. So let's just give it a second or just a few minutes and and then we can check and see if this is working or not. Uh, all right, good news. Your DNS records are set up correctly. Same for this one. And it says like this redirects to this. So that's what I wanted to tell you. So like we don't want that. We, don't, we want the other way around, right? Even though we select the right thing, I don't know why I did this, but right now, if someone goes to this domain, it redirects them to the www dot and then the name. So that's a good thing so that we can change it here. So let's just edit it. And this one is like a permanent redirect. Let's uh, redirect. So let's just, um, well, let's not change that. So let's go where it says edit for this one, for the www one. And this is the main one. So, so let me see if I... So this should be the main one. Uh, so no redirect. So let's just pick no redirect there. And yeah, so let's just save that. So now this one is a production one and this one we want to to be a redirect. So we want to point to higherentrydevs.com and it's not a temporary one. It's just, it's a permanent and let's just save it. All right, so you can change it from here, as I showed you. Uh, we don't care about this one, even though I think I'm covering part of the screen here. Uh, 
you should see what, what I just changed. All right, so now we want uh, what we, so we have what we want. So we know that this one redirects to this one, which is the main one. All right, so now I think we should be good. So it's as easy as that. You just have to change the, the name servers and that, that's it. So let's go to our project and let's go to the domain already appears here. So if you just click on it, it's gonna take you to the, it's gonna take you to the to the domain. As you can see, it says hireentrydevs.com. And let's just close this too. And now let's just test it, make sure that it works. Hello world 2.0 or 3.0. Just click on generate. All right, and it took a second, but we got the response. It says, hello uh, world 3.0 is a phrase that's often used as a way to introduce someone to a new language platform or technology. It's a simple statement and so forth and so on. So as you can see, it works. Um, and it's already deployed on a new domain, on a custom domain, which is, uh, you know, higher entry devs in this case, it has nothing to do with this, but, uh, but it works. So that's pretty much how you set up a custom domain on Vercel. It's pretty easy. It also takes you less than five minutes. So this video is going to be really short and yeah, I think this is the, the end of the series. If you enjoyed it, uh, just, you know, give the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment, share it with other people, let me know what videos you want me to make. I just wanted to take you from beginning to end, uh, deploying an application on Vercel on, uh, using Next.js. This is like a pretty simple application, but you can build upon this one and just build uh, awesome projects. So just don't stop there, just keep building and keep working on this. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you, if you haven't and leave a comment once again. I'll share it with other people and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.